Hey, where are the other two? Where are the other two? Where are the other two? Hmm? That's Char. Pot. Pot pie. Potamus. Now, where are Bean and Buff? Bean, did she sneak out? There she is. Oh, you weren't going to miss out on a scratch party, were you? Here. You little more girls. Hey guys, Sarah here with C&B, Chicken and Bulldogs Urban Farming. Uh, I got a skid steer here. I got a tractor there. And somewhere over in that nook are my four chickens. Therefore, I am an urban farm. It has been quite a while since I posted an update with the video. I've been really busy, man. Uh, May, December doesn't end in May. It kind of keeps going until about a little bit after 4th of July. And that's mainly due to kids' sports. So don't ever enroll your kids in sports and maybe just not even have kids altogether. Because everything has involved uh, driving kids to and from sports, uh, fulfilling dibs hours, uh, end of year crap and picnics and stuff like that, which seem to still be ongoing. Um, I've kind of let things go to hell in my backyard. I've got an absolute mess. Chicken coop absolutely reeks. I've tried, you know, doing some spot cleaning here and there, but it really needs a deodorizing. Pool somehow managed to drain itself, uh, which is great, you know, in the middle of uh, July here, but I've got to figure out where the hole is. Garden's an absolute jungle. And Sterling's got a case of the trots, so inside doesn't smell great right now, even with a lot of cleaning. So. The kids are up at camp. I've got a few hours this afternoon between rain and every weekend that I've had availability to do yard work, it rains. It has been the rainiest summer I can remember in recent history. I've got a lot of work to do and I'm not going to be able to get it all done today, but um, I can start. All right, let's do this. Hydration's important. No kids! Okay, so in uh, cleaning the uh, chicken run and coop, this I noticed this stuff, and you always really gotta keep a sharp eye on their food because when you buy chicken feed in bags, there tends to be this really tiny granular stuff that almost kind of clogs these holes. See how this the pellets kind of came down? This white stuff here is oyster shell. This is not chicken food. This is kind of more like chicken vitamins that just gives them their eggs extra strength. Chickens really don't like eating oyster shells though, so you really gotta kinda sneak it in their food. But if you look on this side, all their food is is dust and oyster shell. That's not a whole lot of nutrition for them. And that sometimes happens when you get um, feed from the stores where it's a lot of powder, the powder kinda cakes. So you gotta kinda watch it and kinda go through this and make sure that the food is free flowing. I try, when, when, when we get low, on the food and the smaller stuff settles to the bottom. I don't, I try to sift it out, but I have kids helping me. So things happen. And if you have kids helping you, they will make mistakes. It is just part of being a kid. Just expect that and always verify. Hungry girls, hungry girls. Here we go, it's coming out really good now. There we go. Hey, Charmander. I don't know if she's sweet or mean, and I have yet to figure that out. I kind of think she's sweet. Well, I got the majority of things that I wanted to get done, done, and that is considered a win when you get to be my age. And also when you get to be my age, it is considered me time just to get errands done or by yourself around the house. That does uh, qualify as a little bit of therapy, even if it's shoveling poop out of a chick coop. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully you guys stick, stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe. 
I always got weird chicken and bulldog footage going on at my house. Uh, right now I got to get inside and fix my last problem of the day. I got to boil some hamburger and rice for a dog who's got a little bit of an upset stomach. Uh, so yeah, always something going on or going wrong at my house. Peace guys.